Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to be fitting the Shaw Vans reverse parking sensor kit. Uh, it's available on their website, it's also linked below in the blog. Um, if you guys are interested there is going to be a 10% code available uh, to be used for one month and I will release that to you at some point during this video. So stay tuned keep watching thanks to the people that have already subscribed to the channel it's growing really nicely thank you for your support and if you haven't subscribed yet just hit the subscribe button I've got loads more videos coming hopefully loads of extra little treats for you so stay tuned and let's get cracking so let's take a look in the box so you've got the um, sensor module like where everything plugs into the main like unit you've got the alarm the buzzer beep, 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 that bit um, I'm not doing that again so don't ask me to but hopefully that is really loud uh, you've got the power supply uh, you've got the red and the black cables there so they're going to be plugging into the actual existing rear light unit but I'll show you that when we get there and then you've got the sensors now I'm holding my hand over the sensor um, because I'm going to tell you a little bit about it first and then I'm going to show you what I've done already. So the actual sensor itself, they only come in black. Um, they have told me and they have spoke to me about it. I didn't complain, I just asked them why. Um, and it's a straightforward answer really. Um, vans these days, you can get them in any colour. Um, so company, companies themselves to be able to actually hold every single colour in the reverse sensor it, it, near on impossible so they do them in one colour and then you have to colour code them yourself okay. for the price that's, that's pretty fair um, so these guys I've already done I've done them in white uh, I tried to get as close colour as I can um, they should be okay I'm not too fussed they don't look too bad happy days so the first thing we're going to do is strip the rear end down on the van I want to take the rear bumper off I would like to do it that way rather than just drilling holes through so I'm going to mark some stuff up on the van I'm going to talk you through what I'm doing and then hopefully beep, 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 beep. Hey. right let's crack on okay one of the first things I suggest you do before you actually get started is mark out the center of the bumper. Um, now what I'm going to do is just by using just some masking tape and I'm going by the door shut here is just mask up the middle. Um, cool, that's a nasty scratch. Your new bumper. Um, so I'm just going to mark up the middle so I know where it is. So in the point of that is the center of the, the bumper basically. Okay, let's get the doors open. Let's get the next bit done. So please excuse the mess in the van. Okay, it's messy. It's a build process. Yeah, deal with it. <laughs> right, so we need to take off there's two cover mounts, there's one there and there's one over here with a trim tool let's get underneath it give it a little pop and it should just pop out now this is where um, I can chat about my van a little bit I don't really know much about it I know where it came from, I've got the history all the service bits and bobs but I, what I do know is underneath here should be some screws holding the bumper on but there isn't good stuff next step is to remove the torx bits there is two located on either side of the van uh, just behind the wheel on the wheel arch um, I'll take you a closer look at the other side before I dismantle that one so there's one at the bottom, which is just here. Let's try and go 
get that one for you. And then there's one a little bit higher up in there. And that's all four screws. Again, when working on your own van, you'll probably come into situations a bit like this one. There should be underneath, I think you see this little bit of plastic I'm wiggling around, three or four connections underneath too. But there isn't. Um, so effectively, when I come to put this back together, I'm going to put it back together properly. Uh, well, the last person that took it off obviously didn't. Right, so those torque screws are all undone. You should now, once you've done the ones underneath the van, be able to just pull the bumper off. So we'll just try and do that. Wow, that comes off quite easily actually. I don't think it should have come off that easily. Oh well. So what we're going to do now is work out the locations for the sensors to actually sit. Now, I'm going to want one around here. Um, so roughly mark out the same side, but I know that that's the middle. So what I'm going to do to start with is work out these two across here. Now, if I go 12 inches, I reckon that's probably about right. 12 inches, we'll get rid of that scrape almost. Come around this way. 12 inches this way. That's pretty decent. And then from that mark, 17. So we're going to go 17 inches from here to the outer ones. And this is just me. So you don't have to physically copy my numbers. I'm just going for, hopefully, as close to factory positions as I can. Okay, so what I've done is I've marked down an inch from my sort of protective sticker thing that I've got on there, which isn't roughly, like it isn't perfectly straight, but they won't look out of place because they'll be in symmetrics with that. So that's cool. Right, let's get these drilled out and then we'll look at the end ones. To start with, I'm gonna drill out a little pilot hole on the actual cross. Then in the kit, you get this cool little trick bit. To drill out a bigger hole. One. Now I went an inch down to the centres on here, but looking at that, if I work off that ridge and go an inch and a half, because the bumper sort of curves a little bit, they'll be kind of in line. So there's that one marked up. Let's get a pilot hole drilled. little rubber retainers um, on the sides of the actual sensors themselves which kind of hold them in but again making sure that the up position is in the right place and pushing it in I found giving it a little twist giving it a little bit of loving on the way in much handier having the bumper off to do this by the way and then I'll just do this one quick and then I'll bring you in and show you that last one so that's the back of the sensor. Um, now you can't quite work that out, but as long as you've got the cable coming out at the bottom, so when it's sat in, the cable's on the bottom, there is a, an up uh, indication there. 
Um, so we're just going to thread that in the hole. Alright, thread that through. Make sure the cable's in the bottom. Push it in. Give it a little wiggle around in order to get those little rubber bits inserted properly. It's quite fiddly. This one actually coming to demo the last one. <sighs> Got mud everywhere. <laughs> you know, it's just like that really, isn't it? So you can see by the paint I use that the colour match is okay. Um, it's not 100%, but again, I'm happy with that. I mean, the state of my rear bumper anyway. It's going to help me stop bashing it. So let's just take you for a little spin across the top. So I've got all the sensors in. I've tried to be as symmetrical as possible, uh, but they look pretty good. Uh, quite chuffed with that so far. So let's move on. Let's look at where we're gonna thread the cables through and then get this thing wired up. So I guess for some of you, this is gonna be the best part of the video. Um, I'm gonna give you the code, the access code, to the 10% off. So, to use the code, you can use the code when making telephone orders, just quote the code. And when you're buying, purchasing stuff online, um, there's a code section on the last page when you come to the checkout, and you can pop the discount code in there too. You're gonna get one month. Um, so the video's out, you've got until the 14th of April. Um, so please get shopping, show your support for their company. Um, and subscribe to my channel and like my videos, please. But yeah, anyway, here we go. So the code is, drum roll please, <laughs> T-dubs 10. All in lowercase, T-dubs 10. You'll get 10% off for one month with Shaw Vans, ringing them up and online. Please enjoy, spend wisely, well excited for you. <laughs> Wiring stage. Now, I gather you're not going to want all, well, I'm definitely not going to want all my cables just like hanging around the back. Um, so what I'm going to do is just start by tacking these up to almost form, I suppose, one continuous loom. So there's my sort of pre-made make it yourself loom all the way to the last one and let me go and show you what I'm going to do and how I'm going to fit it onto the van. Okay so this this little access point here uh, now I gather it's an air vent uh, but it goes right up inside to the rear quarter of the van so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my bumper sort of in situ uh, underneath and then I'm going to thread up the cables through and inside the van. I've got some of this like just cable, um, metal metal cable, like metal string, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I always find this handy for trying to do some of my wiring. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically thread it up inside the van through one of these little holes. And then hopefully I can find it inside the van. So let's just start feeding this through and then we'll go and see where it comes out. And here it is. Um, so it's popped through into the inside of the van. So what I'm gonna do now is attach the cables onto the other end that's outside and then sort of gently pull this through. So before doing any more of the wiring, um, just to make sure nothing's got caught, I'm actually going to pop the bumper back on uh, in place. To get that sorted. Next step is to remove uh, the light cluster at the back. Um, it is literally just two Phillips heads. 
Uh, there's one. And then hopefully, really quickly, there's two. Be careful when taking this off. Don't just pull it. Hang on a second. Don't jump ahead of me if you are copying and following me. Just wait a second. What you're going to need to do now is kind of tilt it top and then bottom and it'll pop off okay I'll bring you in for a closer look now just to show you what I mean and why the light fix in itself has got a couple of um, sort of half moon shape clips and then on the van you've got the same like the the, the male ver the male end basically and they pop on, so don't just rip it off, gently take it off, okay? Uh, now we have to unattach this. Before we actually do the wiring, uh, we're gonna poke through the power lead, so it's not that long, uh, 50 centimeters or so. Um, so I'm gonna do a similar process as before. I'm just gonna thread this metal lead through Bearing in mind there's all sorts of other little bits and pieces around there. So that's popped through, nice and simple. Uh, and then I'm just going to attach this end to the wire. Just give it a little twist, make sure it doesn't come off. Pull this through. Gently, of course. Job done. So, we don't pull it too far because then you'll just have to restart. So, that piece is in there. So, what I'm going to do now uh, is again, I'm going to tidy this up slightly. I'm going to remove all of this electrical tape just here and then get my loom in uh, because we're going to want to try and attach in a minute uh, these two cables to this little unit that fixes on the back of your light cluster. Okay, so I've got my um, power feed coming through. Um, I've got it through this little grommet. Um, I will re-electrical uh, tape all of this up in a bit, but we're gonna concentrate on where these cables go. So, the green cable, um, or the, the green and black cable, is the cable that you wanna attach the red cable to and then the brown cable uh, we're going to attach the um, black and red cable to so it's like the main earth in line for this unit um, so i'm just going to use like the existing earth rather than trying to find one inside there it will just be powered through this um, so i'm not massively skilled at the electrical side of things um, so what i'm going to try and do is um, piggyback off these now I do have some piggybacks but I'm not sure if they're going to be um, up to the job but we'll, we'll 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 take a look at them and we'll have a go see what happens okay so I'm just going to bring you here and show you what I've done so far uh, I've got uh, just a bit of the um, shrink tape stuff whatever you want to call it but that's on there um, so I've got the the earth is with the earth going back to the earth cable uh, I'm going to connect those two up. Uh, what I am going to do again, just um, so I know what sort of like what's what, uh, and that's just put a bit of the heat shrink stuff over the top of these cables too. Um, and then I will electrical insulate everywhere again, just to make sure it's all like tickety boo and nothing's going to rub and connect with each other that shouldn't. Um, happy days. So what, before we test it, what I'm going to do is set the van up so you can test it. Um, so you're going to want the ignition on, and then you're going to want to put it into reverse. I hope you heard that. Let me do that again. Hang on. Hooey, we have beepy stuff. Uh, and when the engine's not on, uh, I can leave it in reverse. Just leave the, like, the first electric switch on on the van so you got your battery's powered up or whatever. And then... I'm just going to walk, see how close I can get. Tidy. Right, remember to take the, uh, <laughs> take it out of reverse, turn the power off, 
and let's look at reinstalling everything. So it's all working great. We had a little test run. Um, I didn't run anywhere. I just sort of turned the engine on and checked that it went beep. So there was power to them. So I'm just going to get this heat shrunk a bit. Uh, and then we're going to get it all tidied up. Get the light fixture back on. And then I concentrate on the inside of where I'm going to mount all the cables. Alrighty, let's get this back together. So, connect it. Using, making sure that you pop it back on nicely to both of those little pops. Get it popped on. You can feel underneath to see where the, the loom is a little bit, just to check it's all nice in there. And then we'll get that put on. But always remember where you put your screws. Alrighty. So, so far so good. If you're having fun and you're joining in, doing your van at the same time, smash the thumbs up button. If you've already gone online at Short Vans and used the T-Dubs 10 code and brought some stuff for your van, smash the thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you're being a little bit dull, a little bit boring, but you're watching this video anyway, just hit the subscribe button. Simples. Some of you would have seen um, that when I actually took my bumper apart, bits of it were missing. Um, so what I'm going to use or at least attempt to use is some of these trim bits from inside the van just to make sure I get it into place um, I'm not sure what is actually in these positions um, but I gather <laughs> my best friend Mr. Hammer going there it just means that out of peace of mind I know I'm just smacking around with it I know that that itself is um, a little bit more secure and then I'm just gonna pop these little panels back on and they just clip into place so already that I know the bumper here is ten times more secure than what it was before I took it apart. So I'm gonna get the other side done, then I'm gonna get round and get all the torque screws back in, and then we're almost finished up. Right, so we're under the van, and again, you would have noticed that none of my um, underneath bits were fitted in either. Um, so what I've actually worked out is that the inner part of this two-piece little bit will actually fit, hopefully he says, into there. Now, I wonder if I can get both bits in or will it be a bit too tight? I'm going to say it again. Toy Lock Tiger. Yeah, mate. Get a bit of welly on that with the old friend, Mr. Hammer, and she's good to rock. So, using the sort of the same, uh, I guess, the metal poking. Um, theory that the cable will hopefully go through I'm going to try and put my actual like sensor itself so the bit that makes all the bleep 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 noises you can tell I'm happy because it works I'm going to try and put it up in that top corner so for this bit now I've just got to literally carefully gently caress this cable through boom Let's just go down and have a look, see. So she's out the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to finish threading all that through and then I'm actually going to mount this. Oh, I'm actually going to mount uh, this. I'm just going to mount this right at the top here. Um, hopefully, it will blend in quite well um, and see how we get on. All right. Uh, well, I hope you're liking the video so far. Um, so, this is the, the wires. Now, there's a lot of wires. I'm going to probably just hide them all in behind there. But let me just open this up for you so you can see what's going on. So, the first four on the left-hand side 
are the sensors one, two, three, four. Uh, there's no particular order. Um, there's no like sensor one, sensor two. They're just one, two, three, four, and then you just plug them in. Uh, this is the power lead, and this one here is for the bleeper, which you've just seen me sort out up at the top. I'll show you the finish where I've finished putting it when I've finished. <laughs> when I finish, finish, finish. Uh, so we're just gonna close that up uh, and just make sure it's kind of tight and sealed. On the reverse side of it, uh, you get this cool little self-adhesive pad, so I'm gonna sort that out in a second, but I'm gonna stick it on the back of this panel here, uh, so it's kind of hidden. Um, I'll know where it is and, and what have you, but um, it's gonna be hidden behind there, so that's quite secrete. And then as for all of these cables, for now, just so you can see how it's done and how it fits and all that with my malarkey. I'm literally just gonna pop them in the back there, uh, out the way. Um, but I'm gonna need to somehow, at some stage, with somehow idea, shorten all these up perhaps, or um, just think of a better way to store it. Okay, so let's crack on with this then. Right, so I'm gonna peel this bad boy off. Um, gonna make sure we get a nice bit of the flat surface in the back here and it's literally going to clip on there and it's on so it's as simple as that really um, all of these cables <laughs> oh that's just ridiculous the amount of cables they can just bung up in there so there's the um, the the sense of the bleeper uh, that is itself um, stuck in that top corner and then I've managed to get my board back on and everything is now tucked away. And that's it guys. Thanks very much for watching. Just remember to get online to Shore Vans in Cornwall and use the code TDUBS10 you get 10% off wide range of products. Just go and give it a go. Type it in the code uh, icon at the checkout stage. And yeah, this is Tom. This is T-Dubs. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you all soon.